Hi, my name is Double from TSM, and this is my basic champ guide to Ash. I think Ash is pretty average in solo queue. She definitely has her ups and downs. As for her strengths, everyone knows what to do when you shoot an arrow. It's they just follow up on it. It's kind of one of those universal abilities that pulls your team together, kind of like a blitzcrank hook. And she does bring a sort of strong lighting phase and easy to understand mid game where you're just looking to group and shoot arrows. So the fact that she is a lane bully kind of makes her a stronger solo camp than she should be. But as for her kit, outside of that, she isn't necessarily the best solo queue champ for a number of reasons. Number one, she's really easy to gank. And number two, she doesn't really have any escapes or high kill potential. So in solo queue, you can't really rely on your team to peel for you. And having a dash or some sort of escape gives you really high kill potential for people who are mispositioned as well as just the ability to make a small positioning error and, and recover from that. So I would say she's not a great solo queue champion, maybe a duo queue. Um, but if you're strong at Ash and you're good at hitting your arrows, then she's still good. For landing phase, you want to always trade with your W up and play relatively passive with it down. Ash is a sort of poking champion in lane with a surprisingly strong all in. So what you want to do is push them in and poke them with your W and, and your long range. Just straight up push them into tower, look for, looking for us, but be really wary of ganks. And this is why Hawkshot is actually so powerful, is because it allows you to see where the enemy jungle is by scouting his camps. So use that on cooldown to make sure that you're harassing safely. And after you've accumulated a big HP advantage, you can actually freeze the lane and look for the all-in. So once you get ahead, make sure that you don't just squander this opportunity and get a big CS advantage. In team fights, you have a huge weakness in your vulnerability to assassins flanking or just CC in general. Ash is actually just super vulnerable. She doesn't have the high range of Caitlyn or Kogma, and she doesn't have any escapes. So you're just gonna want to position very safely and make sure that you start the fight off by shooting an arrow and shooting a volley and looking for any sort of dangers to your champion. You don't want to just instantly start going in auto attacking because that's gonna get you killed most of the time. So just being very aware of all the dangers in the enemy team. And once you start doing damage with your Renown's build, you're going to actually find it very easy to chase down kills. So it's all about knowing when to start auto attacking. And then after that, your Q will allow you to chase down any sort of kills. Nobody should be able to outrun an Ash. So Ash's Q functions as an auto attack reset. You can use this to your advantage in lane, especially because you have such slow attack speed early. You can just get your auto off and then proc your Q for the kind of like fast two auto combo. For runes, I run attack speed quints, AD reds, armor yellows, and MR blues. This is the standard page on AD carries. Okay, so for masteries, you're gonna run a standard 18, 12, zero. And usually before the patch, you'd go fervor battle, but now Warlord's Bloodlust is the go-to, especially on a champion as vulnerable as Ash. And going 12 and accounting for dangerous game is just the normal AD carry path. Level 1, you should always go Volley, so W. And at level 2, you can choose actually between E or Q. Depending on if you're scared of a jungle gank or you need more vision, then you can go Hawkshot or just Q for laning. Level 3, put another point in your Volley. And then level 4, pick up the ability that you don't have yet. You always max W first, then Q, and then E. Uh, and I'm just putting points in your ulti whenever you can. Ash's item build also changed with the Warlord's Bloodlust patch. So instead of going your typical Infinity Edge into Static Shiv or something like that, you're going to go Essence Reaver first, straight into Renown's Hurricane. The reason why Hurricane is so good is because they made her Q stacks fall off one at a time, so her Q has become more uh, consistent. And because of that, the way Q interacts with Renown's during team fights is really strong, as well as having additional wave clear. So after that second item, Hurricane, you're going to go either third item, Infinity Edge, or a last wisp item. But your completed build will almost always be the same as Essence Reaver, Hurricane, Infinity Edge, last wisp item, into either a Mercurial or some sort of defensive item, whichever one you need. I would lump Bloodthirster into a defensive item for Ash in, in that sort of category. So if you don't need a Mercurial, if you don't need any sort of MR that game, or QSS, then you can actually go... Bloodthirster as your defensive item and just end up with six kind of BF sword ish items. It's 
not so bad and actually it's seen a lot of competitive play. Thanks for watching this basic champ guide and make sure to check out the rest of the guys over lawclass.com.